So I get asked, what is Help Desk and why do you talk about it and suggest it all the time? Stay tuned. Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions. Today I want to let you guys know that this video is brought to you by IT Pro TV. If you guys are looking for the most entertaining IT training that is available out there on the internet, IT Pro TV is definitely the best resource for you. They have training from CompTIA to Cisco to Microsoft and everything in between. If you guys use the coupon code ITCQ30, you can save 30% off your subscription. So go check them out, link in the description below. So before we really jump into why I always talk about Help Desk, what is Help Desk? Let's really kind of define Help Desk. What is a Help Desk position? What is an entry level position, if you will? That's kind of what this video is about, an entry level or help desk position, both kind of very similar. They're both entry level. And entry level position could also be like a level one technician, um, desktop support analyst, desktop support technician, um, information technology technician, information technology specialist. There are so many different titles for these types of roles in the IT field that it could probably take me all day trying to figure, figure out like every single title for an entry level role. But for the sake of this video, we will just say entry level or help desk. So you guys know what we're talking about. A entry level or help desk role is the most basic type of role that you could potentially get yourself into. And what I mean by this is every business organization that you get yourself into will handle an entry level role much different from job to job. So you could start off at one help desk role where you are only handling phones, you're only handling your ticketing system where you're creating tickets, you're assigning tickets. Uh, when you answer the phones, you're creating and signing tickets as well. You're maybe answering phones and troubleshooting really basic steps like resetting passwords. Uh, maybe you're part of creating new users, maybe just creating like Active Directory accounts. Uh, maybe helping people set up their email accounts, really basic things like that. But you could go to another help desk job where you're actually maybe helping with more of the server type of duties, where maybe you help with some of the updates. Maybe you help some of your sysadmins install some different VMs, and you maybe you're helping them go through different logs. Maybe you guys are talking about different group policies that need to be applied, and you actually could be put in charge of pushing out GPOs. It really depends on the environment that you work in. But for the sake of this video, really a help desk role, if you could think of every single basic troubleshooting issue that you could come across, that is what a help desk person would be handling. I'll read off this list real quick, just so that I can make this really easy for us. And it's the basic and minimal enterprise work, changing passwords, unlocking accounts, like we said, adding devices to your network. So maybe you're adding somebody's uh, personal computer to, your net to the network. Uh, you're helping them add their email to uh, their device, to their phone, to their uh, laptop. Um, adding software and applications. Maybe you have through group policy, some type of application uh, type of support set up. So you can add somebody's computer to an application group and when they reboot, an application will be installed. Um, that's kind of an example there. Um, really basic troubleshooting, applications freezing. Maybe you might take a couple minutes to figure out why it's freezing. Printers not working. Maybe you have to go troubleshoot a printer, maybe take out a, a jam within a printer. Uh, minimal hardware support for keyboards, mice, things like that. You might have to go out and replace those things. Those are the types of things that you could run across within an entry level role. Now, again, you could run across more advanced things, but just remember that it's going to vary business to business. But the important thing is here, if you think about all the different things that I said here, all the things that we really touched minimally on, and even with me saying like, whoa, if you go over to this business, you might help your sysadmin with this. And maybe if you go over and apply to this other business, you might help out your network admin configuring a VLAN, right? You get thrown so many different technology issues and just different technologies in general that you get to absorb so much. You get to understand so much on how an enterprise works 
and just technology works in general. So for me to tell you guys that help desk is the best role to get into, that's why. Because you are going to learn so much about this field when you get thrown into a help desk role. I mean, you basically kind of get like thrown to the wolves, but like don't take it like to that full extent because it's not bad. It's really not bad. You're gonna get thrown so much stuff at you, but it's not gonna be terrible. You're not gonna be maybe too overwhelmed. Sometimes you're gonna be overwhelmed because you're not gonna know what to do, but that's okay. Make sure you take notes, write everything down. Don't make the same mistake twice. By all means, please don't make the same mistake twice. If you make a mistake, make sure you write that down. Try to remember that mistake that you made and don't ever do it again. If you just graduated college with your master's degree and you have four certifications and you're just waiting for this perfect sysadmin position to roll around and fall into your lap, don't. Go out, apply for every single job that is available. Help desk jobs, other sysadmin jobs, junior admin jobs, apply for everything. Chances are you're gonna get thrown into some type of entry level or help desk role and that's perfect because of the fact that you just graduated college, you understand some of these technologies at a basic book level, right? At a basic level, you understand these technologies because you studied them, right? That's fine, I understand that, that's great. I'm proud of you, I'm happy that you went down that route. But you do not understand at all how an enterprise environment works, and that is crucial. That is really, really important. That's why many businesses and organizations require experience because you can't just think that you're gonna fall into an organization and understand how their environment is set up. Because another key thing here is every single business organization is set up differently from one to another. Their networks, they, you could use the same equipment from one, one organization to another and they could be set up completely different from one another. You could have completely different policies, you could have completely different group policies, everything could be completely different. So you have to learn these things and understand these things and once you understand that, you, you become more valuable. So once you get thrown into this help desk position, the more valuable you become. You can stay in a help desk position for six months to a year, two years tops, and then take that degree, take those certifications, and put those to use. But get that experience. I hope this video is helpful and useful for you guys, because I strongly encourage you guys to get into this field. Don't wait around for anything. Just jump into whatever you can. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, hit me up in the comments below. I'd be happy to help you out any way that I can. As always, take it easy.